and in this video, I will show you how to import the Atmos 32 i469 uh, discovery board and enable LVGL and its demo. So if you have not watched the previous video, how to import a BSP project with latest code into RT Threat Studio, I, suge I suggest you to watch the previous one and then come back to watch this video. So I assume that you guys have done. So uh, you need to do is right click and import, right? Just follow the previous video steps and click artist rest, uh, thread artist right bsp project into workspace and select and in this time we select item 32 i469 ht discount uh, which means discovery and select this folder and then give you project name just as euro and um if you want to online debugging you need to uh, fill in the correct chip name for me i don't want to do the online debugging i just type whatever it is and then select the debugger of course is st link right so we click finish this button so now um artist right studio will import uh, the the latest code uh import the latest code as a, a project and then right we select artist right settings and click this and hardware onboard peripheral drivers now we select enable lvgl for lcd so you just simply click this and then we enable lvgl demo which is a music player demo and actually it's outside but what i want to emphasize is that because atip32 f469 discovery board has two different types of version hardware version so you need to che check the um, touch sensor chips uh, you need to check the type of the uh, touch sensor chip and and select the, the correct one right some board is ft6206 uh, and some board is ft6236 so you need to uh, check your board and select the correct corresponding one so and if you all set and click this hammer and RT Thread Studio will automatically download the uh, software packages such as the demo packages, LVGL official uh, source code and other things and it also will help you to select the drivers right so you just wait for a minute And then the um, artist right studio will help you to compile the whole project. Okay, zero arrow, zero warning. So now you can connect, use USB cable to connect the board and click this button, flash download to download the, uh, the program right into your board. And thanks for watching this video.